Big news coming in from the pole-bound state of Karnataka. Times now has accessed the National Investigation Agency charge sheet in the Shumoga ISIS conspiracy case. The charge sheet that was filed on the 16th of March details the sinister conspiracy to turn India into an Islamic caliphate and carry out attacks across different parts of the country to destabilize India. Times now has exclusively accessed the coded conversations between accused Maz Munir Ahmed and the ISIS handler named Colonel in the chart sheet. Now, in these chats, the ISIS handler issues directions to the accused Maz, asking him to learn to make Molotov bombs, saying that this was crucial to carry out guerrilla attacks on Indian territory. The handler also tells the accused that the aim was to turn India in its entirety into a caliphate and also, of course, uh, keep the situation extremely volatile by targeting key industries. The accused were also asked to work in industries like the defense or the petrochemical sector so that inside information on these critical industries could be gathered. The accused were asked to also pick locations such as cloth markets, furniture showrooms, bus depots, etc. for these attacks to be carried out. Now, as per the chart sheet, images of the beheaded Prime Minister Modi as well has been found on the phones of the accused with words saying slaughtering you is faster for us than slaughtering a cow. So sinister designs of this particular ISIS module in Shimoga and Karnataka have been completely exposed on the part of the NIA. We're joined currently by my colleague uh, Deepak uh, as well as Imran uh, for more on this but uh, we let me in fact go across to my colleague Deepak first and foremost uh, for some more details uh, that have now come to the fore in the chart sheet. Some extremely damning findings. Yes, Deepak. Well, Siddharth, uh, you know, this is uh, definitely quite big, uh, especially considering the fact that, you know, we've accessed this entire chart sheet, which reveals various details about how, uh, you know, Sharik, Yasin and Maas operated. Now, we should understand that there was a trial blast that was conducted in Shumoga, uh, near, uh, you know, by the Tunga River. At that point in time, while there were protests over Savarkar, a person who was uh, taken into custody at that point in time, uh, with, through information that came in from his mobile phone, uh, you know, Maas and Yasin were picked up, but Sharik managed to escape and he eventually, of course, carried out the Mangaluru blast. Now, uh, now this particular charge sheet pertains to what happened in Shumoga and the connections that, uh, you know, Sharik, Maas and uh, Yasin had to ISIS and what sort of instructions were given. Some startling details, of course, you mentioned a few of them, uh, have been mentioned in this chart sheet where they talk about how these handlers, you know, urged, the, you know, these individuals to be very uh, close to organizations like DRDO, BHEL, BEL, you know, probably try internships with them, ensure that, you know, uh, they uh, recce areas with, uh, you know, uh, rich uh, Hindus. They've also asked them that, you know, key industries, uh, you know, should be looked into uh, and uh, they should look to sabotage these industries in the country. They're all, they, we have uh, also accessed some conversations which were, you know, coded or encrypted of sorts. And uh, this, this conversation between, you know, Mars and one of the handlers in, uh, you know, the uh, Shumaga, uh, sorry, the Mangaluru blast as well. But politically as well, this becomes very significant, uh, Siddharth, considering the fact that, you know, Mr. D.K. Shukumar, the Congress president, had questioned, uh, you know, how the BJP or uh, rather how the government and even questioned how the DGIGP Absolutely. could have Absolutely. Uh, uh, just hold on for a moment. Let me also take this across to Imran as well, who's been tracking the developments in this case. Imran, the accused, some of the accused in this case were also known to be reasonably well educated. And what's really sinister is the attempt to infiltrate certain industries in India in order to create an extremely volatile situation after acquiring enough information from those industries on how to proceed forward with their agenda. Well, see that we've shown about how Sharik had got trained in in, uh, in the uh, uh, microboard chips and other kinds of equipment which are required for making IDs. According to the Panaya Chashit, there was a train in Mysuru. And we had also reported, my colleague Deepak and me, from various places where Sharik had got trained along with, uh, along with his associates. Now, Mysuru was very critical for him. Where
He underwent six months of training in the circuit in motherboards and all kinds of material which is needed for making IEDs. Now the charge sheet which Deepak has got further elaborates, puts more point out the connection between these individuals had with, with the ISIS handler and the kind of radicalization they went on. Now the charge sheet alleges that the online radicalization is what they happened and they were they had a handler by name Colonel and based on which directions all these activities were being carried out. Earlier too when I had interviewed the Sharik's family, they, we had, they had told us that to write that earlier this first uh, he came to notoriety when he they had painted for support of Lashkar e Toiba in Mangalore and for which he has paid money and the family had confirmed that uh, he had got money to carry out these activities. Now, these are the investigations which is now Chashid is putting much more for. As Deepak was pointing out, Sharik is one of the main accused. Now his Chashid will be much more elaborate as to kind of indoctrination happened. Uh, to just, just to jog our viewers that you know this his after the accident in the in, in Mangalore with Cooker Blast, yes. he had uh, lost his voice and he needed to be operated. So it took a long time for the police to to treat him first and now his interrogation happening. Recently he was taken out for taking out the Mahajar in several of the areas where, the, where, where he had to go to Mangalore for recce and other places. So once those details will come out, it will be further, furthermore it will be exhaustive information as to what kind of role played by Sharik and others and especially the handlers in sitting abroad. Okay, uh, Imran, who's